or welcome back if you're new here my name is Becca and today I have my 2018 goals and stats revisit So you may have seen that I've already done every single book that I've read in 2018 so far. If you have not, I will link it in a card up above. So essentially in this video, we're just going to revisit all of the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of 2018 and see how far I've come along and I'm also going to run through all of my stats of what I've read so far. So let's start off with the goals. This is the first year that I have ever set goals for myself. I joined booktube almost exactly one year ago today I think my the date that I first posted a video was like the 10th so I didn't really know what I was doing I was definitely over ambitious because I've read more this year so far than I have ever read before in like a six month period and I have still fallen behind on some goals it was way too over ambitious I am going to remedy that for next year and I'm only going to set like one main goal so I have a lot more freedom but I have essentially dropped some of my goals but there are like reasons for it. I haven't just like given up, but I was definitely over ambitious, took on too much and therefore did not complete very much. So my Goodreads goal was 57 books. I'm already on 46 books up until the end of June. I have read a few more since then, but for the first half of the year, I've read 46 books, which puts me at an estimated 92 books to be read for the entirety of the year. Now I set my reading goal to 57 because I read 56 books last year and every year since 2014 this is how I've done it. So I always set my Goodreads goal as to one book more than I read the year before. I am terrified of how many books I'm going to have to read in 2019. I've read 46 books already. If I read 92 books that means I'm like committed to reading 93 books next year and I am so scared. So the main goal that I set for myself was to read the oldest books on my Goodreads TBR. I have been doing this and my loose sort of time frame for doing it was at least one book per month so by this point I should have read six and I have read exactly six books from my oldest books on Goodreads. So the oldest book on my Goodreads TBR was Divergent by Veronica Roth. The second one was marked by PC and Kristen Cast, but I can't jump around through a series like that it would take me forever I would never complete them so I took Divergent being the first book on the shelf as meaning I had to read the entire series and then that counts towards reading the oldest books on my TBR. So I have read six books for this goal. The first three were Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant. The second were Marked and Betrayed which were the first two books in the House of Night series. I then decided to DNF that series because the writing just wasn't very good and I wasn't enjoying it. And then in June I read the first book of the Wolves of Mercy Falls series which was Shiver and then I'm going to continue on with this series so currently I'm reading Linga and then Forever and then Sinner. So that goal is going well. I maybe wanted to read a little bit more. However, like I said, I did take on too much. Every month my TBRs of things I need to read are getting increasingly bigger, so I can't really manage more than one of those a month at the minute. As you may know, I'm taking July as a catch-up month, so I may be able to clear through my TBR a little bit and start off with a fresh slate after the Newt's Readathon but we'll see. The next goal that I set myself was to read the books on my shelves that I didn't really want to so that I couldn't unhaul them. I did only read one for this and that was White Cat by Holly Black. As I suspected, I didn't like it, I unhauled it. Now the reason I've only read one book for this is because I have done two unhauls this year and I have unhauled over 30 books. A lot of those books were because I was being realistic and saying, look, why am I forcing myself to read these books when I have like 200 books on here that I do want to read? So I unhauled a lot of those books and so this goal doesn't really matter anymore because the reason I was doing it is because I felt like I couldn't unhaul a book that I maybe might like just on the off chance that it would become like my new favourite but I've since let go of that and been realistic and been like I do not want to read these books and unhaul them. My next goal was to reread the Harry Potter series. I have not started yet. I'm not sure if I will and the reason for that is I've borrowed Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief from Ryan and I want to read that and I don't want to start two middle grey series and have them ongoing at the same time. So maybe not for Harry Potter. There is still time. I am still thinking about it because I still really want to read them. As you know, every other month Ryan recommends a book to me and I have to read it. However, of the five books I've been recommended this year so far, I've only read three. I still need to read Ready Player One and Call Me By Your Name. Hopefully both in July. I really hope that I get to them because I do actually want to read them. When I came into 2018, I hadn't read the book he recommended for November, which was the last book in the Hush Hush series finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. I read that. 
Then for January, he recommended Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Read that, absolutely loved it, it was amazing. For March, he recommended Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. I read that one. And then for May, it was Ready Player One and July is Call Me By Your Name. Haven't got around to those yet. And then not in my 2018 goals video, but a little bit later on, I did say that I did want to introduce one book a month from the library. I've currently read seven books that I borrowed from the library, so there's been six months of the year I've read seven that one's absolutely fine and then the random one that I added on because I didn't make any channel goals really because I was very new at that point um in December I still wasn't taking booktube very seriously now I have like a regular schedule and post all the time but at that point I was still getting into the swing of things didn't know what I was doing didn't know what to expect so I set this wild and crazy goal to have a thousand subscribers by the end of the year I am now over 1200 so thank you so much for everyone who's joined me like I said, I had like probably about 100 subscribers at this point and I was like, you know what, I'm going to set it as a goal, but that's just me being wild and crazy. So thank you for everyone who has joined me this year. Then for my stats. Like I said, I've read 46 books. For the star ratings of these, I have read no one star books, although a couple I probably should have rated one star. Four two star books, nine three star books, 11 four star books, and 25 star books which normally my most rated, like my most rated, you know what I'm trying to say. Normally I rate the most books four stars. It seems I've had a really good reading year because almost half of the books that I've read this year have been five stars and that is amazing. For the demographics, I have yet to read any children's books, which is sad because I've really been itching for like a light but super exciting and magical middle grade series, but so far no children's books. I've read one new adult book which is interesting because I, I never read new adult but I've started to really like Colleen Hoover. 27 young adult books and 18 adult books which is really good because I didn't think that I read that many adult books but there has been a couple of months where I've had pretty much an even mix so I'm really happy that I'm branching out more into adult because that's something that I think I said that I wanted to do and I don't want to leave YA behind because I still really love it. I love that things aren't so like heavy and serious all the time but I do want to be exploring more adult works especially in the sci-fi and fantasy genre because that's the genre that I enjoy the most. For the formats, 29 of the books that I've read have been like standard novel formats. I've read four short story collections, nine graphic novels, eight of which were saga volumes, one novella which I think was a Court of Frost and Starlight, two audiobooks which were Shiver by Maggie Steve Arter and The Woman in Cabin 10, and one poetry collection which I have no idea what that was. The amount of pages I've read so far this year are 15,107. The genres that I have read from, are you ready for this? I've read 12 fantasy, 4 paranormal, 1 urban fantasy, 2 magical realism, 1 mythology, 9 science fiction, again 8 of which were saga volumes, <laughs> three dystopian, four contemporary, two LGBT books, which I think was Simon Versus and Leah on the Offbeat, three mystery thriller, three non-fiction, that's very surprising for me, one classic and one romance. So as you can see, mainly fantasy. I'm surprised that most of my science fiction is all sagas. I thought I'd read more than that, so that's awkward. But I'm, I'm branching out with my genres. I'm reading quite a wide range and I'm enjoying that. And I think that's pretty much everything for my goals and my stats recap. Please let me know how your year is going. If you have any stats for me, I love numbers, which is why I track my reading stats like so particularly. But please don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description box below you'll find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those as well as a link to my bookish body butter and candle website, the Instagram for that and 10% off discount code. But that's it from me today. Bye!